Hey guys, so today I'm trying new makeup. Just like a chit chat, get ready with me. I have a full face of new makeup. I'm just gonna throw it on, see how it goes. And um, yeah, this is the eye look. I must say, I like it quite a bit. Yeah, if you wanna see how I got this look and all the products I've tried, please keep watching. I'm gonna start with primer. I got this sample from, I think Sephora, from their Rewards Bazaar or whatever. It's the Guerlain Lore Radiance Concentrate with Pure Gold, whatever. I've heard so many good things about this primer, but it is super expensive. That's why I got the sample so I could try it out before I commit. So anyway, it's supposed to be like a good moisturizing one. And it's super lightweight. It feels like super watery or whatever. It smells really good too. Now I'm going to do my foundation. I got the KVD Crew Portrait Liquid to Powder Foundation, Light 004. As you guys know, I'm really fair. So I didn't get the lightest foundation because the lightest is basically white and that would be way too light for me. I actually appreciate that that brand does really light uh, foundation. How beautiful is this packaging though? Like, I think it's stunning. So you're supposed to shake it up and supposed to twist it off and it looks like this. And so you basically squeeze from here. So I'm gonna use my Haku Hodo G5552. Gonna squeeze it on. I straightened my hair today and it took forever. Oh God, I actually like, I, I despise straightening my hair. It takes so long. I'll put a picture of what my hair looks like prior to straightening. It's just super frizzy and I have really fine hair. So it does get tangled really easily. I like how I look more with straight hair. I don't ever go out with my natural hair. Normally I blow dry it cause it's so much faster than straightening it. And I use one of those curling blow dryers. Yeah, so it's it's like right when it's wet, so I don't have to wait till it dries and it just, it's easier to manage. So this foundation I would say is a light foundation. I mean, it's an okay finish. Like I'm not, I don't love it. I don't hate it. I have to try it some more. Like I like the coverage. It is kind of matte. And like for me, it's always just important to cover the scars above my lip. I've had these scars forever. So like that's my main concern usually with foundation, even though I can always use concealer, but still. And I mean, it's pretty dope that people are down with the brand now that Kat Von D isn't a part of it, which I'm a fan of also because she's like a straight up Nazi. So peace out. So for contour, I'm using my Shuamura base contour palette in 03, I don't know, whatever. Um, it kind of looks gross, but I'm gonna use this to contour. Um, this highlighter sucks, so I don't use it anymore. It literally looks like nothing. Like it's, like that's, what is that? It's like a chalky, disgusting mess. Whereas the contour, it's actually quite nice. Um, it's kind of like one of those, you know, putty type formulas. So I like that, I'm just using the contour. Hey guys, Editing Coral here. Um, I filmed this video at the end of May, so some things may not be relevant. I also referenced summer, which no longer is, but um, still a video of me trying new makeup, so I still thought I should post it. All right. It's been quite, depressing in Toronto lately because of the weather. It's just like raining and gray and it makes this whole quarantine situation more unbearable. And it's actually quite sunny today, which makes me happy because I'm literally just sitting in front of the sun, doing my makeup. And I don't know, it's just beautiful. That vitamin D man, like it's, 
it makes such a big difference and it's like good for healing and you know it gives you endorphins and all this stuff so I appreciate it you know what I mean especially like if I go outside for a walk and I go to school right so they're saying that possibly my university will be doing online classes for the fall semester which is kind of like ridiculous I it's understandable again it's understandable people need to be educated you know you're in a program like you can't just wait but like I'm an English major right so I read I read a lot I read a lot of articles I read a lot of books I read a lot of you know prose poetry but the professor the reason you have a professor is because they help you analyze this work and how to analyze it and you know in person basically with dialogue you come to understand the material so so basically if it's going to be online then i'm assuming that they would just like record um a lecture and post it online but then i don't know it's difficult to have dialogue i guess like they can implement zoom somehow um but it's just like also being in a university being on campus i don't know it just like it puts you in the mode to study and learn and you know i love my school so we'll see how all of this goes i always tell myself to look at the silver lining because i when i was in the hospital i was in the hospital for two weeks and you know the next day literally the day after i got admitted all the schools closed and my work closed and all this stuff so everything was moved online and for school it was actually like good timing i guess <laughs> for me to for when i got sick that everything like you know whatever so it's not like i would have to take time off work and you know the, the whole school thing would have been a big problem that's what i tell myself look at the silver lining and I'm also trying to take this time to be healthy and I really want to work out so I'm waiting for my doctor to clear me. Trying to take all of this in and m like make the best out of the situation. Um, it's really hard though because a lot of the time I just want to lay in bed and watch YouTube videos and not do anything and not talk to anyone. So it's hard to get into the mode and that's why like I'll get up, I'll shower, I'll do my hair, I'll put on my makeup because it'll make me go and actually even if it's just to clean my place you know it's just like puts you in that mood and also makes you feel better you know that you're put together so don't have a new cream bronzer I'm just gonna use my milk makeup stick in baked oh also update on my package situation that I was ranting about in another video. Still haven't gotten the package. Still communicating with the company. They keep asking me to like check with my neighbor or check whatever and all this stupid stuff and I'm like dude it's literally been like two months. Can you just either resend it or figure it out or something like that because this is ridiculous. So finally they asked me if I wanted a refund or for it to be re resent. And I just told them, like, I just want the products. Like, can you just send it to me? I literally can't believe it's been two months and I'm still dealing with this situation. Going to color correct, like I always do. This isn't new. This is the benefit. Boing. In the lightest shade. Hobby. Also, even though I'm, like, an introvert, I've been, and a lot of the time I don't want to talk to anyone, I just want to be left alone because I find solace in isolation. And, um, but I actually have been taking the time to talk to people that I haven't talked to in a while that like have been my friends for a long time, you know, people that have moved or whatever, just like catching up and that's been like quite nice. It's funny when it's, you're suffering with somebody else that it makes things easier rather than suffering alone, you know? So I think although we're all going through some like mental troubles, 
having each other to vent to is it like brings relief you know i mean at least it does for me so now i'm going to do so basically there's this brand called subtle beauty and they're all about like light makeup blah 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 and you make a stack and basically you can choose um like highlighter bronzer lip cheek concealer shine control powder so it just you can make your own or they have pre-made ones whatever and then it's it's basically to have for like travel for simple makeup if you want to do like a quick whatever so i got it because i thought it was a great idea there's a little puff like one of those that you you know whatever that you could take with you if you want to like blot and it also came with this brush it's like a travel brush and you can use it for like powder or whatever i don't really like brushes like this but whatever i'll take it so i'm gonna try the concealer it's the lightest one and i did take a look at it and it looks like it's going to be dark but i'm going to try it anyway um i'd say it probably matches with my foundation which i don't mind actually it's light coverage it's kind of dewy which is nice i'll give you i'll show a swatch so see so it's kind of just light coverage which is it's meant to be like i wasn't expecting um a lot of coverage i just thought it was nice that i could like throw it in my purse and always have it on me or something just if i want to do quick makeup i can grab it you know what it is a little darker than my foundation actually yeah i mean it works i wouldn't have minded to have a lighter one to you know brighten my face but whatever it's fine it is kind of nice to have like dewy makeup i can't ever not set it because i have oily combination skin and it would look like absolutely ridiculous on me i'm about it i like it i think it would probably look nicer with a beauty blender but so now onto the powder so it looks like this it's a universal powder like it's the only one color i don't know can you really even see anything no so i'm going to use a small brush first to set under my eyes so i'm using my it cosmetics velvet luxe precision complexion 310 brush it's a really nice brush and it's soft so i'm just gonna take some powder you know what i'm noticing about this cat hair about this um concealer is that it doesn't crease like it usually my under eyes will crease like immediately and it's barely creasing so that's kind of nice The powder's all right. I'm not, it's making me look cakey actually. And it's getting darker once I set stuff. This happens often that um, when I put a powder over the foundation, it'll get darker. I don't know why that happens, but it's very annoying. Yeah, it makes me look cakey. I don't like this whatever i'm gonna use it on my whole face just because i'm trying it out like what is happening like look at my brush it's just like caking up okay i'm gonna try their brush that comes with it just gonna take it to be honest i like i just discovered this brand on instagram like i didn't see anybody review it i just thought it was a good idea so i was like hey I'll try it it's a good brush i'll give it that it's a good brush it's very soft and i like that it's it's not like a skinny brush you know it's wide so it can cover a lot of space okay so something's starting to look cakey and i don't know if it's the powder or if it's the foundation i'm gonna have to see like maybe it's just a good powder to have like 
to blot your face during the day like just to take around with you maybe it works like that like once you've already done your makeup and set your face and it's just good for that you know like i would be down but right now it ain't it ain't looking good so their powder doesn't work the greatest with their concealer but also how cute is my coffee cup it's a cat and it says don't stress me out anything cat related i love because i have two cats and they are literally my children so everything is set now we're going to contour so it comes with a bronzer it's kind of nice and warm so i'm gonna try that and then i have another bronzer from guerlain so i'll try that too but first i'm gonna contour with my regular products so my usual mac so just this powder excuse how messy hakuhodo and sephora collab brush i think they still actually have it if you guys want to check it out anything hakuhodo i love i just love their brushes they're the best brushes in the world you know in my opinion Ooh, that's a lot of contour You know, this powder doesn't set very well because I can feel that the contour isn't gliding really well because it's still kind of tacky. I'm just going to use my Smith 112 to contour my nose. This too is a great brush. Smith makes amazing brushes. Okay, now on to their bronzer. Oh, and I love that they put the names at the top of the lid so you know what color it was. Oh, I love that. Anyway, okay, so bronzing time. I'm going to use the same brush. Just dip it in. Ooh, looks like it's pretty pigmented. Oh, it's nice and warm. I like that. Yeah, I feel like because my skin is still tacky, I can't really like swipe. Otherwise it'll pick up the foundation. Like that's nice for a natural look. Like I can see where they were going. It's just with my skin type, it's not really something that's feasible because it's a beautiful color though. I really like the color. You know what? I really like the bronzer. I think the bronzer is beautiful. I always bronze the tip. And under the contoured under chin situation, just to blend it down my neck. On top of this bronzer though, I'm going to use the Guerlain Terracotta, the Sun Kissed Healthy Glow Powder in 03 Natural Warm. Look how beautiful is that? I'm just gonna put it on top of this bronzer. Oh, I love it. It looks so nice and natural. Like it blends into the skin really nicely. I'm a fan. I'm a fan of anything Guerlain, to be honest. I've never been disappointed by their products. Okay, now to highlight. I'm going to use the same powder from the stack. Just highlight the... Just to highlight everything literally picking up my foundation i'm not a fan not a fan Ooh, i hate this powder it sucks oh my god and i've already hit pan look at that thing is too it's like super yellow so like my skin is has a pink undertone so yellow doesn't normally look good on me yeah, this powder I think is best used with <laughs> it's already like I <laughs> it's small though, like I didn't expect it to be like a lot of powder. But hey, look, it's working for this with the sponge thingy. Although I never use these. I would use a beauty blender right now, but I haven't washed any, so we're using 
this sponge thingy that comes with it. Okay, so I just let that bake for a bit. Now I'm just gonna dust it off and we're gonna do blush. So it is a cream blush. You can use it on your lips and your cheeks. We're just gonna do cheeks. This color is the mauve. See it right there. So I'm gonna use my MAC 129 brush, pick a little bit of it up and stamp it onto my face. And hopefully it works fine over powder. works fine over powder look at that sometimes like i love cream pro products because i do the cream underneath the powder so everything like lasts longer that way things don't fade but for blush you can't really do that because if you put powder over you know cream blush it just it kind of fades so i like to use the cream blush over my powdered face sometimes if my cream blushes don't work that well i'll set my face first so it's not powdery and then i'll put the cream blush over it i mean there are different methods to make it work the true test is when i go over my nose because sometimes product will pick up the foundation Ooh, i just went a little too hard there okay well that looks stupid so i'm gonna just use a sponge try to lessen that a bit it's a nice blush i'll say that it goes over powder nicely so i'll give it that i just like went a little too hard going hard in the paint you know i'm a fan i'm a fan of the blush it's nice and dewy looks natural that gets a thumbs up from me okay now there's also a highlighter in rosé it's the color i think it might be too dark for me but i also have a different highlighter i want to try Ooh, i think it might be too too dark i'm gonna use my natasha denona 16 brush just go in if it's gonna be too dark i'll just use it as a topper yeah it's definitely too dark for me it's too dark I mean it's it works you know like I'm sure if I oh my god it's actually beautiful I love the color but yeah I think it's too dark for me so let's try the other highlighter that I just got the Natasha Denona glow powder in light I'll do a swatch Oh, that's nice. I like that. I like that it's not super gold. Again, I I need pink highlighters. Like I don't understand when they do light highlighters, they do they make them w with a yellow base, like a gold base instead of a pink one, which okay, fine. There are fair skinned people that have yellow undertones, but the majority of us are pink undertone. I think. I don't know, maybe I'm wrong actually. I'm going to use my Sephora Pro Highlight in 98. I have a feeling it's going to be super bright, but... That is lovely. Oh my god, that is so beautiful. Wow. You know what? The highlighter in this stack is stunning. I love that it's pink undertone. It's just a little too dark for me. Just gonna go over with the blush just so everything melts together beautiful i love natasha Denona. never fails me can always rely on her okay i'm happy with the results now I'm going to set my face. I'm using the Guerlain Perreur Gold Mist. I don't know, man. It's, it's just so beautiful. It's a nice 
mist. It doesn't go too hard. It's quite light. Lovely mister. It smells like um, flowers, I guess. I don't mind it. It smells like bathroom like spray. You know how you spray your bathroom or whatever? Oh my god, it's amazing. It's so amazing. I love it. Beautiful, beautiful setting spray. I'm going to use my Algenist concealer that I can't stand and set my under eyes. So I want to try this mattish liquid eyeshadow from Touch and Soul. Basically like a matte liquid shadow. And you can use it on your lips, you can use it on your cheeks. What I really like about like K-Beauty and stuff like that is that they they have liquid products that you can put on your cheeks that are matte as opposed to like dewy. I'm not gonna put it on my cheeks today, I'm gonna use it on my eyes, but I just wanna see how it works, if it's going to get patchy, et cetera, et cetera. So I'm just gonna use it all over my lid and then I'm gonna use my MAC 224 to blend it out. Oh, I'm scared, I hope it doesn't get patchy. I think you have to work with it like quickly. It's a beautiful color. It's like a coral color, which I love. It's number three delight is the color, I believe. Not bad. That's quite beautiful. You know, it probably would look better without having the primed eyes with the powder as well. I think if it's just your bare eyes, it would look really nice, which is something I would use on like a no makeup makeup type of day or whatever. I just like to prime my eyes because you can see my veins and stuff like that. So I like to have like a nice clean palette. It is a little tacky, but that might be because of the concealer underneath and it might actually dry. And actually it'll be a good base for my eyeshadows if it's nice and sticky. So the palette I'm gonna use today is the Viseart Rose Edit. That's beautiful. I also want to try this Natasha Denona Duo Chrome Top Coat in Burnt Terracotta Green. Color right there, look at that shift. Ooh. So I'm gonna put that over the look I'm doing today, but I wanna do something that goes with it. palette is absolutely stunning and incredible blends out beautifully i really love like the eye look it, there was no fallout what i'm gonna do though is i'm gonna use that natasha denona chroma crystal top coat like i can't look at that shift stunning so what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna use my finger <laughs> How stunning. I'm obsessed. The one thing I'll say though, this one I have is like, I have another one. It's a lavender shift and it's a lot more softer. This one is not as soft, I find. I think it's a little drier, but it's okay. Like it still did the job and it's, oh, I am, look at that shift. Okay, so I'm gonna put on eyeliner. I haven't tried this KVD Inkwell liner. I'm just gonna do like a wing. I 
struggled with this liner. It's not pigmented enough and it was kind of like crumbly and I kept having to do many layers because it wouldn't like do you see it's kind of like crumbly I don't know but I just I'm done worked on it for too long and I'm just like whatever this is what it is and also the tip is so hard you have to do multiple layers and then it starts crumbling and it's like a whole thing I don't know okay so I'm gonna do my brows and put on some lashes Okay, so now I'm gonna do my lip. I'm gonna line them like I always do with my with my Wherever Walnut from Makeup Forever. So I got this liquid lip in my BoxyCharm. Um, it's a Peel Ultra Creme Liquid Lipstick in Sugar and Spice. I've never heard of this brand, but I'm down. So let's see. I really like the applicator. really like the color it goes well with the lip liner um it's not one of those liquid lips that dry completely it feels like one of those cream lipsticks that it's matte but it's still like creamy like movable so it's beautiful i love it i think it goes well with the look hair is done i need to cut my bangs and i changed into my romper um because i'm pretending that I get to go somewhere in the summer. I have so many summer clothes that like I got recently that I just am never gonna wear because I never go outside. But this one's so cute. Like I'll show you guys. Look how adorable is this romper? Like oh, so cute, right? Like adorable. I'm obsessed. Oh, here goes a button. That's the only thing, it's like because you can't really wear a bra with this and these kind of pop out a little bit, which is kind of scary. It's adorable and I love it. Okay, so my thoughts, I'll start with the stack. I love the idea of this. I think it's perfect for like portable, if you want to put it in your purse, whatever. Just like to have these two items is, you know, you're good to go and I like that it's really tiny. You know, and it has everything that I need. I think I'm also gonna try it on a day where literally this is all I would put on. You know what I mean? Like the concealer, the highlighter, the bronzer, the lip, cheek, and like maybe a little bit of the powder and see like just a really natural look and like mascara, obviously brows, um, and just see like how that ends up looking because that's what it's meant for you know what i mean so i don't know and it's it's so cute too like i'll give them that it's adorable i love it like it's just so maybe what i'd like to see is for them to improve on their formula potentially or like have lighter colors palette viseart i have so many of their palettes love it always like you know beautiful blends out nicely it's I'm never disappointed, to be honest. My girl Natasha, top coat, love it. Beautiful, I can't, amazing. Just, I wish it was, I think this one's like dried out a bit, but uh, it's still um, incredible. Guerlain, the bronzer, absolutely beautiful. I'm, I feel like it gave like a nice sheen to the bronzer. Like I, I like matte bronzers and I like have a sheen as well. The primer. The primer, I don't know yet, basically. It felt nice and it felt moisturizing. The setting spray, amazing. Highly recommend, beautiful. It made my skin look stunning. Like it melted everything. Now it's just nice and smooth and natural looking. As natural as you can possibly be with a full phase of makeup, you know what I mean? Foundation, it was okay. I don't know yet. It might have been better with a sponge so i'm gonna try that see how it goes i liked the color match and you know it's beautiful packaging like it's just i'm neutral about it this touch and soul product beautiful i want to try it on my cheeks as a blush 
I feel like that would look stunning, but I loved it. I loved it so much. Like, look at that. It's just nice and smooth and orange. Like, I just, I just love it. This liner, wow, awful. I hate it. You know what? I actually have one like this in red and it's so much better. So I don't know why this one sucks, you know, but it was just too hard to work with. It's a beautiful color and you know, I tried to do my best with it, but I don't like it. And this uh, liquid lipstick, I think it's beautiful. Like I love it. It's a good color. I like the formula. It is sticky, but it's nice. It's not, it's not like annoyingly sticky. It just feels like a lipstick basically. So yeah, those are my thoughts. I just wanted to like do my makeup and have a little chat and try some new products. And yeah, at the end of the day, I think it turned out nice. You know, I, any product that doesn't end up looking good, I still like finesse it, you know what I mean? And make it look nice. So I do like the look. I do like the eye look quite a bit. Oh, and also the highlighter from Natasha Denona. Amazing. Like, let's take a second to appreciate. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching, guys. I'll see you soon.